Hey there everyone and welcome to the Little Pokestop. I'm Nick. And I'm Kirsty and today we're going to be opening this Pokeball tin and see what's inside. We upload videos every other day guys so be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that notification bell. So join us and let's see what we've got today in this Pokeball tin. Let's go. Okay so now we've got the wrapping off let's crack this open and see what we've got inside. Take a look. Okay nice there to come off there. It's a bit of a dint in the lid, unfortunately. <laughs> there is. Must have been dropped at some point. Can't be out. So, we, them. we have a lovely Ooh, nice. holographic Ninetales coin That's there. shiny that is. Beautiful wow. blue holographic as well. I do love the blue ones. I do like that as well. And then we have the free booster pack. So we have... There's something a bit different here. Yeah, Steam Siege X and Y. I've never seen one of them before, so yeah. can't wait to open that one. And then we have Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Nice. The lovely Lycan Rock on the front there. Yeah, we love Lycan Rock. We certainly do. And another Sun and Moon. Soul Galeo on it. Lovely packs there. Yeah, can't wait to get into them. Yeah, we'll see what we get. Okay, we're on to the first booster pack, which will be this Sun and Moon one. With lovely Soul Galeo on the front of it. You ready with those scissors? I can um. see them. I can see them. <laughs> Menacingly in the bottom corner there. <laughs> you couldn't wait, could you? <laughs> <laughs> when can I snip? This is a stumble. When can I snip it, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and there's another tricky one. Not too bad. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> there we go. What are we going to get in this one then? Is a different pack? Yeah. To the usual. Oh, we've got a nice um, fairy energy, I do believe this is. Yeah. Never hardly ever see these, so... <laughs> I yeah. know, I think I only have about four in my entire collection, actually. Yeah. All right, trainer card. Item, energy retrieval. Put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Next one. Okay, of course, mm -hmm. Solar. It's HP of 80, it's a water type, and it's a lovely little coral Pokemon. And there it is under the sea. I love those bubble effects. I know, they're wonderful. It really does look like it's just moving about on the sea floor there. Happy as can be. Quite realistic. Yeah. Quite realistic artwork. Lovely little console there. A move at Call for Family. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. And Surf, 60 damage. Weakness to Grass type. Pursued by Marini for the branches on its own head. This Pokemon will sometimes snap its own branches off as a diversion while it escapes. So Marini can hunt for this one. And Satoshi Shirai has done the lovely illustration there. So you get away from that Marini. Yeah. Solar. You're having a happy time. Don't let it get you. Oh, next one. Crumbeak. HP of 80. It's a normal type. And evolves from Pikipak. It's a Bugle Beak Pokemon. And you can see why. Yeah. A long beak looking like a bugle there, and it uh, looks a little bit eh? <laughs> is that seed there flying around? Well, maybe, it looks very determined. Maybe, yes, maybe it is. Maybe it's chasing after something. It's spotted something it wants to get, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So I move bullet seed 20 times damage, flip four coins. This attack does 20 damage for each head. Weakness to electric type, resistant to fighter. By bending its beak, it can produce a variety of calls and brand itself a noisy nuisance for its neighbours. <laughs> noisy, noisy. And it's illustrated by Kuki Seidu. Trumpik. Oh, not seen this one before. Crab Brawler. <laughs> Look at him. HP of 80 is a fighting type. You're right, he is. <laughs> He's busy. He's a boxing Pokemon. Look at him. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to tangle with Crab Brawler. He'll knock you right out. He will. Look at that eye. Look at that. He's like, yeah. You know I'm going to knock you out as well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Two moves. Punch, 20 damage. Crab Hammer, 40 damage. Weakness to psychic types. It punches so much, its pincers often come off from overuse, but they grow back quickly. What little meat they contain is rich and delicious, though. And it's illustrated by Shin Negasawa. So, Lloyd loves punching. 
<laughs> I was having a bit of box there. Oh, no, never seen that before. Oh, it's a lovely Eevee. HP is 60, it's normal type. It's the Evolution Pokemon. Look at that, it's kind of watercolory type yeah. art there. It's Eevee. a little bit startled. Yeah. Not sure what's going on there, Eevee isn't. Maybe it's about to evolve. Maybe. Who knows? Um, ability, Energy Evolution. When you attach a basic energy card from your hand to this Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon that is the same type as that energy card and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. And quick draw, flip a coin, if heads, draw a card. It's weak to a fighting type and it's possessing an unbalanced and unstable genetic makeup. It conceals many possible evolutions. As illustrated by Shibuzo. I love the Eevee. Oh, it's Sandy Gas this time. Mm -hmm. HP of 80, fighting type, and it's a Sand Heap Pokemon. And there we go, just like a little sand castle on the beach there. Again, one you probably don't want to mess with. <laughs> That's right. No, I'm not messing with it, don't you worry. <laughs> uh, two moves that shore up, attach a fighting energy card for your discard pile to this Pokemon, and Sand Tomb, 30 damage. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Your weakness to grass type. It takes control of anyone who puts a hand in its mouth, and so it adds to the accumulation of its sand mound body. And it is illustrated by Akira Kamiyama. So never put that hand in that hole there. No. And you'll be safe. You'll be all right. Oh, it's Poliwag. HP is 60. Water type. And it's a little tadpole Pokemon. And look at that knitted effect there. Like a I little, love these types of cards. You love the knitted ones, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, they're lovely. Way. Look at his big bug eyes there. A little body wag. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a lovely picture. Two moves, water gun, 10 damage, and hydro pump, 30 plus damage. This attack does 10 more damage times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. Weakness to grass types. It's still not very good at walking. Its trainer should train this Pokemon to walk every day. Oh, <laughs> it's illustrated by Asaka Ita. Oh, he got a little walk. Oh. You gotta train him to walk, yeah. Oh, oh that's right. cutie. And uh, we have a Skarmory, HP of 110, and it's Steel type. It's an Armor Bird Pokemon. Look at that. Look at that. Imagine that coin for you like that. Like yeah. wow. I'd certainly be very intimidated if that came to me. Yeah, it's got like a whirlwind going around it as well. Uh, two moves, metallic sound, discard all special energy from each Pokemon, and aerial ace, 60 plus damage. Flip a coin, if heads, this attack does 30 more damage. Weakness to electric type, resistance fighting. Its feathers, which fall off as it grows, are thin and sharp. In times long past, warriors used them as swords. Wow. Illustrated by Anasaki Dynamic. There you go. You get hold of one of those feathers. All right, good weapon on your hands there. You certainly do. Oh, <laughs> it's a Rangaroo and it's a reverse holo. Lovely. HP 120 is a normal type and it's a Sage Pokemon. And there he is. He's chilling up in his tree. Looking down. His leaf fan there. Looking down, all wise. He's a Rangaroo. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Ability of Instruct. Once during your turn, before your attack, you may draw cards until you have three cards in your hand. And Psychic, 60 plus damage. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. For weakness to Fighting type. Deep in the jungle, high in the lofty canopy, this Pokemon abides. On rare occasions, it shows up at the beach to make match wits with Slowking. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. Yeah, so he goes to Slow King mm -hmm. and battles his intellect. Maybe. Imagine they have a game of chess. Yeah, I was going to say chess <laughs> as well. See, great mind sinker like that. A lovely reverse hollow there. And what? What have we got? Wow. Shinotic. Or a Shinotic hollow there. He is all shiny. HP 100, grass type, and it evolves from Morlul. It's an illuminating Pokemon, and that hollow really does make it illuminate it as well. It certainly does. Look it's at beautiful. that. That's lovely. Lovely effect there. A lovely picture. Ability is illuminate. Once during your turn, 
Before your attack, you may search your deck for a grass type Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck and flickering spores, 30 times damage, no, just 30 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. That's not bad. Weakness is a fire type. It emits flickering spores that cause drowsiness. When its prey succumb to sleep, its Pokemon feeds on them by sucking on their energy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Illustrated by Mizu. Yeah, lovely, lovely uh, effect there and a lovely card. Not and sure. the slightly dark, creepy eyes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's really weirding me out a bit now. <laughs> I was loving that until I read that. So, hmm. <laughs> but, Mixed emotions to end that pack on. <laughs> yeah, but there we go. That's the end of pack one. So let's move on to pack two. Right, on to the pack two. The Sun and Moon Guardian Rising. Nice. Let's take a look. Bring us luck like and rock. Yeah, bring us luck. There we go. Oh, this one's a little oh, bit more. Just putting up a fight, that one. It was. Come on. Bring us luck. Alright, so start off with a fire energy. Ah. And a choke. So we have a HP of 100, and we're a fighting type. We evolved from Macho, and we are a superpower Pokemon. I have a lovely artwork there. I've been lifting up a massive rock. That's it. He's got his title belt around his waist. <laughs> Not sure where he won that from, but he's proud of wearing it. It's part of his pants, I think. It's part of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> we go with that, all right? <laughs> Obviously, the prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. Your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counters on your bench Pokemon. Mm. Cross Chop, which does 30 plus damage. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 more damage. And we are weak to psychic types. As a well, bleh, say that again. As a result of its continuous workout, it's developed tremendous power. It uses that power to help people with their work. And the wonderful illustration is by Kuki Satao. So maybe somebody wanted that massive rock moving out of the way. Maybe they did. He's come along with his belts and his pants. <laughs> we have a trainer card, stadium type, altar of the moon. Mm. The retreat cost of each Pokemon, both yours and your opponents, that has any psychic or dark energy attached to it is two normal less. Oh. Interesting stadium there. Very much is. And another trainer card for an item, the Choice Band, which is a type of Pokemon tool. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon GX or active Pokemon EX before applying weakness and resistance. Oh. Nice headband. Certainly is. <laughs> and we have Matchup <laughs> with a HP of 60 and a fighting type and a superpower Pokemon as well. It definitely is going to lay down some chops there. <laughs> <laughs> lay down, lay the smack down. He certainly is. Got some powerful muscles there as well going on. He has the move Dynamic Chop, which does 50 damage, and he is weak to psychic types. It loves working out. As it gazes at its muscles, which continue to swell day by day, it becomes more and more dedicated to its training. <laughs> and it's illustrated by Asakazu Fukada. A bit vain though. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at himself in the mirror. But I guess if you put in the work in, you can be a little <laughs> bit vain, I guess. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> and we have Chauncey. We have an HP of 110. I'm a normal type Pokemon. And a class is an egg Pokemon because that lovely egg that we have yeah. in the pouch. If I remember correctly, I think a lot of Pokemon like those eggs as well. Yeah, they're nutritious. I think they're supposed to be, aren't they? Yeah. They offer them out willingly, I, I do believe, right somewhere. Yeah. So yeah, it's very nice. Looks like it's having a sing song as well. Yeah, I can't tell if that it's floating stick because it's making it float or oh, it's sure. just kicked it's it. Kicked it. Maybe it's kicked it. <laughs> yeah, the move bind wound. Flip a coin. If heads heal thirty damage from one of your Pokemon and hammer in, which takes a lot of energy, which does eighty damage. It has a weakness to fighting types, and the eggs laid by Chansey are rich in nutrients and a favourite food of many Pokemon. There, we there go. you go. <laughs> <laughs> that answers what we said there. And it's illustrated by a Megumi and Mitsutani. Chansey! Lovely. Hey! Snorunt! 
has a HP of 60 and has a water type Pokemon. And has a snow hat Pokemon. Yeah, He's now. a very, very cheeky little snore on there. <laughs> very cheeky. You've got the poor girl here, look. Poor girl trying to run her shop and you've got a snore on it in the fridge there. One that's passed out on top of the fridge, it looks like. <laughs> and then one hiding in the ice tray. <laughs> Cheeky snoring. She's just trying to run a business. That's right. <laughs> so cheeky, that big smile. <laughs> We've got the move Chili, which does 10 damage, and Frost Breath, which does 20. And we're weak to Steel type. And their numbers seem to have rapidly increased in their lower. Custom has it that houses where Snorunt live will be prosperous for generations to come, but then again, they're doing her a favour, so there you go. Illustrated by Tommy Kazu, come here. It should be very prosperous. Yeah. She's got three of them. She, yeah, she should be rolling in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Pancho. <laughs> we have a HP of 16 and we are fighting type Pokemon and we pass it also as a playful Pokemon. They said it do look a bit playful if, if it looked like we had a bit of a knock to the head as well. So <laughs> there, to be he does look a bit off balance he though, does. Pancho. <laughs> Looks like he's about to fall over. Bless him. <laughs> Cute panda though. It certainly is. I do like pandas. I, I have a soft spot for pandas. We have Karate Chop, which does... Is that a 60 plus or 60 That's minus? a 60 minus there. That's a Interesting. New this attack does 10 less damage for each yeah. damage counter on this Pokemon. Ah, okay. And we're weak to psychic types. It grows up imitating behaviour of Pangoro, which it looks to her as a leader. Yeah. And the illustration is by Takia. Yeah. Bug jump. And we have Bellsprout, which has a HP of 60 and a grass type Pokemon. It's also classed as a flower Pokemon. And we have this lovely illustration of it looking up here with a hole in the leafage there. Yeah. I also imagine it singing into the into the sky. I wish I could mm -hmm. grow grow tall like the plants. There you go. I wasn't gonna sing, so I'm <laughs> glad somebody did. <laughs> it was like, oh, don't do that again. Please don't do that again. <laughs> We have Vine Whip, which does 30 damage and weakness against fire type. Even though its body is extremely skinny, it's blindingly fast when catching its prey. Mm. As illustrated by Aya Kasubi. Yeah. Ooh, we have a trainer reverse holo card. Oh, nice. For the item Field Blower. Choose up to two in any combination of Pokemon tool cards and stadium cards in play. Yours or your opponents and discard them. Mm. Nice first hollow there. And the final card is Oricorio. Oh, lovely. We have a HP of 90 and we're a psychic type dancing Pokemon. Yeah, it's a nice dance there as well. Yeah. Very proud of it as well. Concentration. They do. They take great pride, I believe, in their dancing, if I remember correctly. Oh, lovely. I'd love to see it dancing. We have Supernatural Dance. For each Pokemon in your opponent's discard pile, put one damage count on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. And Revelation Dance, which does 30 damage. If there's no stadium card in play, this attack does nothing. And it's weak to dark type Pokemon and resistant to fighting type. So this Oricario has sipped purple nectar. This elegant, attractive dance will send the minds and hearts of its enemies to another world. Mm. As illustrated by Tokia. Very lovely. There we go. So that's the last card of that pack. So we'll go on to the final booster pack. Okay, on to pack three and the final one. And that's Steam Siege. It's a very new one. New pack we've seen. Snippy, snippy. There we go. I always get scared that one day you'll just snip the top of the cards. I uh, know, I always double check where they are. Uh. <laughs> Right. What are we going to get in this pack right here? Hold on a minute, let me just double check what the uh, number for these cards are, because I think with the XYs it was 3, not 4. Okay. Where's me? Do, 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 do. <laughs> right, so Azamaril is the first one here. HP of 100 and it's Psychic Water. Got two ones on this one. Evolves from Mario. And it's an Aqua Rabbit Pokemon. And you can see that lovely colour, really colourful there. That yellow is really popping, along with the blue. And it looks, it does look like an Aqua Rabbit. It does. I'll give it that, <laughs> it looks like one. So they've done a good job there of describing it. 
Very, very nice art there. Uh, two moves, play rough, 30 plus damage, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 more damage. And bubble drain, 80 damage, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. And its weakness is steel type and it's resistant to dark type. The bubble like pattern on its stomach helps it camouflage itself when it's in the water. And the illustration is down here this time. And it's Sanosuke Sakuma. So there we go. Yeah, again, nice card to start with there. Nice and colourful. The Azamaril. Next up is Lampant. HP of 80 and it's a psychic type. And it evolves from Litwick. And it's a lamp Pokemon. And there it is, just in the forest. Searching around for the next person who's going to unfortunately die, I think. So <laughs> it is with Lampant. Um, two moves at Mirror Mirror. Each player either draws or discards cards until that player has four cards in his or her hand. A flickering flames, 20 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. It's weakness to dark type and resistant to fighting. It arrives near the moment of death and steals spirit from the body. As illustrated by Mickey Kudo. There we go, it's lampant. Oh, it's an Ampipalm! HP and 90, it's a normal type and it evolves from Ipom. And look at that pose. That long, is one heck of a pose. Long tail Pokemon it is, and wow. It's like, paint me like one of your French girls. That is from Titanic. <laughs> wow, Ambipom. Two moves, fairy chance, 20 plus damage. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If that card is an energy card, this attack does 60 more damage. And a double hit, 50 times damage. Flip two coins, this attack does 50 damage times the number of heads. Fighting type is the weakness, and to eat, it definitely shucks nuts with its two tails. It rarely uses its arms now. Don't even use them. And it, the illustrator is Atsuko Nishida. So yeah, useless say his hands are now. <laughs> no need for them. <laughs> oh, his lovely Shellos. HP of 17, it's a water type and a sea slug Pokemon. And look how happy that they is are. A lovely card. It is. I'd have that on the wall as well. Yeah. The picture. That is really colourful and lovely. And it looks so happy and sweet. Aww. A beautiful sunset and waves. Oh, little Shellos. Uh, move a rain splash at 10 damage. It's weak to grass type. Its shape and coloration vary depending on its habitat. Yeah. It's illustrated by Sanosuke Sakuma. Sakuma. And uh, yeah, there you go. Lovely shells is there. Oh, Rufflet. HP of 60. It's a normal type. And it's an eaglet Pokemon. And there he is. He's, uh, he's on the sand. Run, yeah. Running off in the sand there. He's definitely got a move on there. <laughs> he has. Look <laughs> at the concentration as well. Yeah. Concentration of Rufflet. So I'll move Reckless Charge at 20 damage. This Pokemon does 10 damage to itself though. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, weakness to electric type, resistant to fighting. They will challenge anything, even strong opponents, without fear. Their frequent fights help them become stronger. And illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. He's always in a scrap, it's rough lip. It certainly is. It's off for one there, so it seems. <laughs> Chimchar, HP of 60, it's a fire type. It's a chimp Pokemon, and he's dismantling some kind of mechanical device there. <laughs> and he seems quite happy about it. He's doing his cheeky wink. Yeah, give him a wink after he's done it as well. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know what you just destroyed, but yeah, very happy with it. Two moves, Scratch, 10 times damage, and Ember, 30 damage. Flip a coin, if Tails, discard a fire energy attached to this Pokemon. Weakness to water. And the gas made in its belly burns from its rear end. Oh, the fire burns weekly when it feels sick. Okay, then. As illustrated by Shibuza. I'm sure a couple of people have had some curries. <laughs> I felt that sensation. I'm sure they have, yeah. <laughs> some curries or some Mexican food or something yeah, like some that. Some spicy food mm. meals. Yeah, would I feel chim char? Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a dino. HP is 60. And that is a dragon type. And it's an irate 
Pokemon. Is that, is that right? Yes. <laughs> wow. I would never have thought that, Dino, but apparently no. he's absolutely living. Yeah. He's a everyone and everything, okay? Wow. It's a nice picture. I like the picture of it in the woods and that. You know, I thought for, for at first it was just looked a bit lost, but now I just no. think it's just like, oh, I'm just not happy about being in these woods. These woods are just not up to my standards, okay? No, it's not happy at all. <laughs> Two moves are all. Your opponent switches his or her active Pokemon with one or his or her bench Pokemon and headbutt bounce, which is 20 damage. Weakness to fairy types. It's lacking sight. It's unaware of its surroundings, so it bumps into things and it eats anything that moves. Oh my heck. Illustrated by Sawuma Choki. Okay, wow. Absolutely blooming livid. Dino. <laughs> Hey, Dangler, HP of 80, he's a grass type, and he's a vine Pokemon, and he's swinging around on those vines right there. Again, lovely cartoon type illustration there. Yeah, it's having a blooming good time there, swinging it about. It's just hanging out. <laughs> Two moves, slam, 30 time damage. If flip two coins, this attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. And Mega Drain, 40 damage. Heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. Weakness to fire and it tangles any moving thing with its vines. Their subtle shaking is ticklish if you get ensnared. So it gives you a bit of a tickle. <laughs> Illustrated by Uyama. A lovely tangler. We like a bit of tangler, don't we? We certainly do. Oh, we got the reverse hollow bravery. HP of 120 is a normal type and it's a Valiant Pokemon. Look how Valiant it looks there as well. It certainly does. Wow, a beautiful colourful tail there. And um, yeah, it looks very majestic. It does, it's a lovely card. It's one of your favourites that is, isn't it? It is. Bravery. Like bravery. Two moves, Ambush, 20 plus damage. Flip a coin, if heads, this attack does 50 more damage. And Sky Drop, 120 minus damage. This attack does 120 damage minus 20 damage for each normal in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. It's a weakness to electric type and resistance to fighting type. They fight for their friends without any thought about danger to themselves. One can carry a car while flying. Wow. Illustrated by Kyoko Umamoto. Uh, so yeah, throw a car at you. Bravery oh, off. Um, and a Volcanion. Uh, look at that. HP of 130, fire type. And it's a steam Pokemon. Look at that picture there, look. Wow. There you go, you got a bit more focus on that. Wow, look at that. All this volcano in the background. It's standing proud and standing sturdy there. It certainly is. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on, I'll have you. <laughs> two moves, power heater, 20 damage. Choose two of your bench Pokemon. Attach a fire energy card for your discard part to each of those Pokemon. And steam artillery, 100 damage. Weakness to water types. It expels its internal steam from the arms on its back. It has enough power to blow away a mountain. Oh, an heck. Yeah, it Illust certainly looks it. Illustrated by Five Band Graphics there. It certainly does look it, yeah. He's got all that power enraged in him. I don't want to tangle with him. So I'm not going to tangle her with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like that, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's the final card. That's of the final pack card. Pack three there. So there we go. We yeah. end on Volcanion. So here are all the cards that we got today from the tin. So, of course, we had the lovely Reverse Hollow Aranguru card there. And then the slightly mixed emotions for the <laughs> <laughs> Shinasic Hollow there. The Reverse Hollow Trainer card. The beautiful Ninetales holographic coin. And, of course, then the lovely Bravery that's Reverse favorite, Hollow. That yeah, that's certainly <laughs> my favourite there. <laughs> So thanks for watching guys, hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell and we shall look forward to seeing you here next time at the Little, Little Burger Store. Bye guys! Bye!